You've all heard about humanoid robots who are capable of doing multiple tasks amid the human environment. But have you ever thought about a robot who's trained to become an independent astronaut? Her name is Isla, the modern humanoid space robot. You all must be interested to know about her. So if you want to see how this lady robot is changing the futuristic scenario of the International Space Station, stay tuned. In the year 1990, Frank Kirchner, who was first a researcher at the University of Bonn, Germany, and later Northeastern University in the United States, started experimenting with a lot of robots. His main goal was to study machine learning and artificial intelligence, and as a result, he started building a lot of leg robots in order to gain more knowledge about them. Now, if you want to know who we are talking about and who this person is, he's the founder of Isla Robot. He created this robot in the humanoid form to examine how robots are controlled and how they can react in a real world environment. Still on a mission to get upgraded to something it lacks, its legs. She's learning to perform more tasks in the human environment and training to become an astronaut. It is a two-alarm robot system, developed as a research platform for investigating aspects of the multidisciplinary areas of mobile manipulation, mobility, perception, manipulation, and primarily the use of all these sub-areas within a single subsystem that is able to perceive and be able to understand its environment move around, manipulate objects, and learn more about and deal with unstructured and uncertain environments is the goal of this research area. The most special feature about Isla is that it has been made to assist astronauts on the International Space Station. It's designed in such a way that it becomes very easy for astronauts to handle her. Astronauts spend their entire day thinking about complicated matters, but Isla has come to the rescue. She makes everyday boring and tiring tasks easier so that they can focus and think more on other projects and handle the rest of the work herself. One special feature about Isla is that in the beginning, she learns just like a new learner. She first observes a human being and watches him doing a particular task, and only after the demonstration is she able to perform exactly what she has been instructed to do by the humans. She is an independent robot, but the only thing that she needs to know is how a particular thing works, and only after knowing does she work according to what she has been taught. In this way, the astronauts demonstrate their space works, and Isla observes it thoroughly. Only after that does she start her action plan, sequentially following the algorithm. Isla is a female robot, and her head is molded in such a way that gives her a feminine look. She has a beautiful hairstyle with big dark eyes. If she is compared to NASA's Robonaut 2, she looks completely different from it. It has a broad shoulder torso with a head like a space helmet, but what both robots have in common is the way they portray how humans and robots work together to explore the mission of space. Initially, Isla was an assistant worker at the Amazon warehouse, but the scientists thought that she could do so much more. Before it was revealed in the year 2010, Isla was supposed to be one of their older robots. She has great adaptability, and a new passive exoskeleton system is known as the Capio. It is the world's most beautiful joystick and uses different contact points of the outer skeleton to manipulate her at the perfect time. If a person wears this Capio and moves his arm, Alia will also copy her and move her arm at the same time. She is even equipped with a special kind of feedback system, so the user gets alerted that Isla is touching. A user wearing a capio can move Isla all across the room and can even pick up a stress ball with precision. They also plan to design the capio so that she could be used from a greater distance. The concept video showed a video in which Isla was moving around in a mock-up of the International Space Station. Controlling a robot in space from our planet seems to be a long stretch journey, but the German scientists were finally able to control her in the German city Bremen using an exoskeleton in the Russian city Magnitogorsk. Now, this is something incredible. The distance was huge with a stretch of more than 2,400 miles. The ISS is a mere 249 miles above Earth, and the exoskeleton signal could easily travel that distance. They also discovered that exoskeleton-controlled robots like her are not meant just for space exploration, but for crucial tasks like disaster management. This robot is also able to search, recognize, and store new objects. She can manipulate door handles and navigate in a very cluttered environment. We must build systems that approach the capabilities of the people, said Dr. Frank Kirchner, director of the Robotics Innovation Center at the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence and the Robotics Group at the University of Bremen. An investment of $4.59 million has been agreed to be invested on this space robot to improvise its software brain with more technology by the German Aerospace Center. Now the question arises, how does this robot function? Well, the humans on Earth control it using a specialized mouse and Microsoft's motion track Connect 
technology that's also used to control video game like Xbox consoles. This robot also has the power to mimic humans and their body movements, especially hand movements. Besides that, she can also push its button and flip the switches herself without any assistance. These properties are essential to make a robot work efficiently in space, and this is one example of why Isla is ready to board the International Space Station. Isla works on algorithms. She can take the recording of the human body movements of humans and move her body parts accordingly. First, she records the movement, then breaks them into a number of sequences. Those sequences are further broken down into fragments, and those fragments are embedded to create new actions. For a period of time, after acquiring knowledge about every movement, she stores them in a library so that she can use those at times when she wants to do something new. The Bestman project, which is commonly known as the behavior of mobile menu pollution, is expected to function properly after four years on the basics of funding from the German Space Agency Fund. So eventually, it can create the most advanced brain for robots, which in turn can assist the future robots in the space station. The Isla robot can not only perform a single task, but a number of important tasks that include mobile navigation and dual our menu pollution planning, active compliance and force control strategies, object recognition, scene representation, and semantic perception. There are two Pro Silica GC780C cameras that are responsible for creating a stereo system unit in the head. Besides that, there is a periodically tilting Hokuyo URG laser scanner that is short-ranged and located right in the chest and a MESA SR4000 3D time-of-flight camera in the robot's belly. Two long-ranging Hokuyo UTM laser scanners provide a circumferential view for the mobile base. Two 3.5 inches PCs are embedded. One is for motion control and is located in the head, and another one is for navigation located in the mobile base. There is a mini ITX board in combination with a dedicated graphics card so that Isla can see things easily and the site is processed in the torso. The communication network consists of five independent CAN lines for controlling the two arms, the torso and the wheel modules of the base. There is a large ethernet that's routed through two five-port switches that can connect the head cameras, the three computers in the outside world. There are torque sensors as well at the robot's wrists. The primary design goal was to achieve a lightweight arm construction with a payload to weight ratio greater than one. Besides, an adjustable body should sustain the dual arm system providing an extended workspace. In earlier days, robots were great tools for knowing more about artificial intelligence and even today. While in the earlier days of AI systems, they were designed to study aspects of planning, execution of plans, and monitoring them. The primary achievement was to carry the cameras to the environment that was to explode. Today, the robot provides a larger amount of capabilities. The general representation of a robot exploring an environment can be massively enriched if, along with the camera, other internal and optical data be used. Suppose the chances of robots interacting with the human environment are more precise will be the data for environmental representation and enhancement for strategies of control. And this is really the big takeaway here. This trend of robots taking the reins and playing a bigger role in space exploration isn't going to change anytime soon. Robots are outnumbering humans in space. As we press onward to more harsh and distant locations, you can rest assured that humans are not going there first. It will be this increasingly advanced robot Isla that we sent. So when it comes to space, it's definitely a good thing that we have robots everywhere. Do you like this video? Let us know in the comments section below. And also don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and hit the bell icon for notifications for more such space content.